are you today? Today's video I'm super excited about. Uh, it is going to be a tutorial on this headpiece. Sorry, I keep moving around. I just want to make sure you guys see it in all its glory. Today I will teach you how to achieve this creation, this beautiful headpiece. So I am, I made this a couple days ago and I haven't taken it off. I just, I just haven't taken it off. I mean, I don't sleep with it, but <laughs> every time I go out somewhere, um, it's been really nice the past couple days, so I've been trying to be outside more, and I just think this is the perfect accessory for spring. It doesn't say spring, like florals. Hello. So, let's get into it. Let's talk about this pattern. Who can do it, what you need, what you can do with it, what, e everything that you need to know about the pattern. So, this pattern can be made by absolutely anyone. Yes, I mean everyone. If you are a crocheter, if you are new to crochet, if you've never crocheted before in your life, if you don't even know what crocheting is, you can still make this pattern. And the reason is because I have videos that I will link in the description bar below of everything you need. First of all, the hardest part is probably the stitches. So that's what you need to get yourself familiar with if you aren't a crocheter. Um, and I ha my last week's video was all the stitches that you need to make this. So it has single crochet in it, it has half double crochet in it, and it has double crochet in it. And that's it. That's all it has in it. So watch those videos. Uh, I'll link that one. The other one is uh, how to chain. And you... Everyone needs to know how to chain. So I will also link that video below for you guys. There are no excuses. If you like the way this looks, you can make it. I promise you. you literally just have to go and get supplies. What supplies will you need? I'll tell you. You will need a crochet hook. I used I used really small yarn, really thin yarn. And I used, I believe it was size D. But I will tell you that for sure in the tutorial part of the video. So stick around to that. You'll need yarn. I used fingering weight yarn. You can use any yarn. Obviously the thicker the yarn you use, I wouldn't use anything like bulky weight or anything like that. But the thicker the yarn you use, the bigger it will, the flowers will be and the warmer it'll be. And because it's a springtime craft, I would probably use stick to like 012 weight yarn. So if you don't know what that is, um, because you're new, when you go to Michael's, you go to the yarn section, and on the yarn, it'll have a symbol, and it'll have numbers on it, and that's the weight of the yarn. So the thinner yarn is closer to zero, and the thickest yarn is closer to six. So, yeah, that's how you would, so I would stick to like a zero, one, or two. You could maybe go with a three, depending, I don't know, I didn't use that, so... Zero, one, two. That's what I would suggest. The best part about this is I made this headband with all scrap yarn. Yes, if you remember my Skano videos, um, I made a beautiful shawl and I had some yarn left from all the colors. There's a bunch of colors in it. I will link that video below too. Um, there's a bunch of colors in it and I had scraps of basically each color in it. So I used it all up, except for the green, but I left, I saved some of that specifically for the tutorial um, so that I could show, show that to you as well. The most yarn that you'll use is for the headband part of it. And you can choose how long you want to make it, which is the other great thing about this. <laughs> I know, everything's just great. It's just a great pattern. Um, it works up really quickly too, so like what else could you want? Um, Basically, you can customize it. Like, I wanted it to kind of flow into my hair. Um, I didn't really want it to be long because I don't have long hair. But you can make it super long. You could just have it to tie here and, like, whatever. I could also tie it into a bow. I also have a link to this pattern, like a written pattern, of the flowers that I used if, in case you are an avid crochet and you don't need to watch a video on how to make it. So I will link that in my bio. Um, to the pattern and anything else this is a great pattern to practice all those stitches I taught in my last video because it'll it uses single crochet half double crochet and double crochet so if you're looking to practice make some flowers 
it's really simple. <laughs> if you would just like me to get into the tutorial, you're in luck because that is where we're going next. Okay, so I have my yarn and my hook. It is a D hook. Now let's get into it. Yes. So I'm just going to start by making a headband and this is achieved by chaining however long you want. Um, I'm obviously not going to chain as much as I did for mine. I believe mine was about 146. Um, I have that in the pattern though, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to chain a little bit to give you the idea. So you chain to your desired length and we can start with the first row. So the first row is just single crochet. So we're going to single crochet into the second hook, second chain from our hook and all the way across. So as you can see we're single crocheting. It's very simple just like we did in last week's video. Nothing has changed. All right I'm going to speed this up. So now that we've come to the end of our row, we're just going to single crochet in our last stitch and we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work and we're going to, this row is going to be half double crochet. So if you remember my pattern from last week, we did, it wasn't a pattern, it was a tutorial. Um, we did, we made like a square and the first row was single crochet and the second row was half double crochet. So this is absolutely the same so far. Um, it, like I said, it's just perfect to practice with. So as I get jumbled, let's just fast forward. Now that we finished the second row, um, we will just half double crochet in the last stitch, chain one, and turn our work for the final row of our headband portion of this uh, tutorial. The last row is just single crochet all the way across. So we just finish with how we started, and now we can show you that. <music> We have come to the end of our band. Um, so you can lay it out. This is what it would look like. Obviously mine is not two sides, but I hope you enjoyed that part. So we're coming to the part of our small flower pattern and we're going to chain four, as you can see, and we're going to slip stitch, um, sorry as I focus, we're going to slip stitch into the first chain that we made. And by doing so, we create a circle. I mean, it doesn't really look like a circle yet, but you see there's like a little center in there, and that is how we'll make our flower. So now we're going to chain four, and four, and we're going to slip stitch into the center of the circle. And I'm going to show you that one more time. We will do this for a total of five times. One, two, three, and four. And you're going to slip stitch and then you're going to repeat this three more times. <laughs> Now that we've done that, we're on to making the petals. So we're going to insert our hook into the first loop that we made and make a single crochet, half double crochet, and 
and two double crochet and this is all in the same loop. So here's our second double crochet and then we're going to half double crochet and single crochet and yep you guessed it we're going to do this all the way around. going to cut our yarn and pull it through and you can leave a long tail because you will be sewing it but this is what our little bitty flower looks like isn't it adorable I'm obsessed with it so let's get into the large flower pattern so this is going to be the same idea it's just going to be on a larger scale so we're going to start off by chaining six and once we do that we're going to connect to the, or we're going to join it to the first chain that we made. And this creates our ring that we will be working with. So now we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet ten times in the circle. So there will be ten single crochet stitches at the end of this row. So you see how easy this really is. Uh, as you can see right here, I start weaving over the um, end yarn, like that little piece, but I stop because you don't have to do that. Um, eventually it starts bothering me, so I cut it off, but we'll get there. You'll see that. <laughs> so now we're coming to the end, I think. I hate voiceovers. Um, yes, so we're going to join. And we're going to chain one and this row is going to be we're going to put two single crochet in each st stitch so by the end of this row there will be 20 and this is an increasing row so if you ever wondered how you increase stitches this is how you do it so I lost the footage of how I go around so this is what it looks like once you've gotten all 20 stitches and you see that little piece oh it's terrible Okay, so I'm going to cut it, and I'll be right back. Maybe, maybe I come back. There I am. Okay, so now we're going to make the petals, uh, start making them. So we're going to chain four, and we're going to in, skip one stitch and join in the second stitch. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do it all the way around. So you keep skipping one until you get around. So now this is what your petal looks like. And we're going to do make the petals the exact same way. Um, we're going to single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, double crochet again, half double crochet, and single crochet. And we will be doing that all the way around. Two double crochet now, and our second Another half double crochet and single crochet. So let's just fast forward through that. Now 
this is what your big flower looks like and you can go ahead and sew the small one to it or you can just keep it as it is as you can see I mix mine um, and I would suggest keeping a long tail so that you have enough to sew with I hope you like this tutorial I will have more for you and make sure you you subscribe bye guys this pattern any lit <laughs> just say hello you don't even want to say hello to them no don't